Cape York Peninsula is the birthplace of the oldest continuous living cultures on Earth. In this northernmost region of the continent, Australia's great classical languages and epic literature were born. The first Australians crossed the Sahel Plain 60,000 years ago, when sea levels were lower than today. The peoples of Cape York Peninsula have watched the Great Barrier Reef flood and form. They have seen the Daintree rainforest grow. The Pamanyungan language family, the great family of Australian languages, originated in Cape York Peninsula, spreading across the continent around 6,000 years ago. Cape York Peninsula is a world hotspot of language diversity. There are 147 language varieties, but all of them are threatened. The most important thing now is for us to bring back our language. We need to speak the Ingenio Ikea. The silencing of languages is a catastrophic result of frontier violence and linguicidal policy. The dominance of English is now overwhelming. The classical languages of Cape York Peninsula are the inheritance of all Australians, the keys to our epic literature and the deep history of this continent. We, just, we sing along with the kids so that the kids can know the language, yeah, and at the same time teaching them. Palmer Language Centre is working to ensure the right of every child to be fluent and literate in their ancestral language. We are working to secure the viability of Cape York Peninsula's linguistic heritage for the future. What I really like is to encourage parents out there and kids even to revive their language, sit and listen to the parents. In partnership with local schools and language champions, Bama Language Centre is working to save our unique ancestral languages through song. Song is a powerful medium for language learning. Music, it just, it just makes you happy. It makes you feel good. And putting a language to it, it, little do you know you're learning a language. Singing songs in the ancestral languages of Cape York Peninsula is rebuilding intergenerational bonds and a future for our unique cultures. Palmer Language Centre choir workshops bring elders and youth together with linguists and music professionals. Repertoire includes both traditional and original songs in Cape York Peninsula languages. The Singing Back Our Languages Northern Cape York pilot last year brought together elders and students from NPA College. The choir workshop was followed by a songwriting workshop to write new children's songs in Bakwiti, a language until now spoken by just four remaining elders. In July 2017, Singing Back Our Languages returned to Northern Cape York Peninsula for a second workshop with Ingenu Ikya and Bakwiti elders and the students and teachers of NPA State College. The choir practiced traditional Ingenu Ikya hymns as well as new Bakwiti songs composed during the Songs on Country workshop with Joshua McHugh earlier in the year. Well, today we at the school, we uh, sing along with uh, the school choir, with Josh and Julie. All this program start from the Palmer Language Centre in Cairns. So we're working with all the musicians and the linguists and all that. Today we're um, writing down songs and stories and uh, putting them into language and getting it recorded. The songs they tell us of um, stories, dance, um, initiation, and it was part of our old people, our ancestors, and it was passed down onto us. So we could have it there for our children. Yes, and uh, like we're maintaining it, at least we're using it, we're making it happen. Singing Back Our Languages workshops are led by choir leader Julie Mayhew. Julie works with elders, language centre linguists and classroom teachers to develop song as a medium of language learning. Julie focuses on building the skills and confidence of elders to lead in the transmission of their culture. 
For fragile languages such as Mbakwiti and Injinu Ikya, Bama Language Centre Choir programs are the first step toward bringing back the languages. Sharing these songs ensures that very fragile languages pass from the remaining few elders to the next generation. I'm the only one left from the elder of this community and I'm an elder for my clan at Tambaya. I, I teach some people like Roy and uh, Sandra and all my children. Pama Language Centre's Gugu Yimitir Choir at Hope Vale is securing the future for the language that brought us the word kangaroo. Gugu Yimitir, the first indigenous language to be recorded by Captain Cook on the banks of the Endeavour River in 1770, was once spoken by thousands, but is now critically endangered. <laughs> swarming on him, Nas, so he gets in the mud. And that's what old people used to do way, way back, eh, Aunt Erin? Well, I'm trying to reinforce them to use it in the home, which would help their parents, because like three generations back, it has been lost. And that these children that I teach at school, they go home and teach their parents. I know a lot of people out there envy them with them. Um, with their local language. Kura Bitta Wunaika Tarara. Over the next three years, many more intergenerational transmission choirs will form across Cape York Peninsula. Palmer Language Centre looks forward to supporting these local choir projects with workshops, camps, performance and recording opportunities. Singing Back Our Languages is benefiting all Australians by preserving and celebrating the linguistic diversity of Cape York Peninsula, a priceless part of our cultural heritage.